sensitivity can be shared in thousand and one ways. The most fundamental is a lovingness, not a love relationship, but just pure lovingness. without any conditions, not asking anything in return. Pouring your heart, because it is overflowing with sensitivity, on people, even on strangers, now the scientists say, you can shake hands with a tree. And if you are friendly, you will feel tremendous sensitivity in the tree itself. Old stories are there, unbelievable, cannot be factual, but one never knows. Maybe they are factual. It is said whenever Gautam Buddha passed, trees which have been without leaves, suddenly grew leaves to give him sad. Whenever he sat under a tree, suddenly thousands of flowers blossomed and it started falling over him. It may be simply symbolic, But there is a possibility of its being real too. And when I say that, the modern scientific research about trees is in my support. It was the first Indian Nobel Prize winner, Jagdish Chandra Bose, who proved to the scientific world that trees are not dead. He was given Nobel Prize on it. But since Jagdish Chandra Bose, much has happened. He would have been tremendously happy if you could come and see what scientists have managed. Now they have something like a cardiogram attached to the tree. A man comes, a friend, to the tree with love in his heart. And the tree starts dancing even without any wind. And the cardiogram becomes very symmetrical. The graph on the paper becomes almost a harmonious beauty. And when another man comes with an axe, with the idea to cut the tree, even he has not come close, the graph of the cardiogram goes berserk. 
it loses all symmetry, all harmony. It simply goes insane, something is going to harm him. It is strange because he has not been harmed. It is just an idea in the woodcutter's mind. The tree is even so sensitive that it catches your ideas. And the same man with the axe, but not desiring to cut the tree, comes and the graph remains same. There is no fear, nervousness in the tree. And another thing they became aware was if one tree is trembling with fear, they had not thought about it. Just one scientist put few cardiograms on other trees surrounding the tree. When the tree started trembling with fear, other trees also participated. They must have been old friends, growing in the same groove. They must have shared their love to each other. They must have been friendly. They also react immediately. The whole existence is full of sensitivity. And man is the highest product of this existence. Naturally, your heart, your being is ready to overflow. You have been hiding it, repressing it. Because your parents and your teachers have told you to be hard, to be strong, because it is a world full of struggle. If you cannot fight and compete, you will be nobody. So only few people like poets, painters, musicians, sculptors, who are no more in the competition world, who are not hoping to accumulate billions of dollars, are the only people who have left some trace of sensitivity. But a meditator is on the way of being a mystic. He will become more and more sensitive. And the more you share your sensitivity, your love, your friendliness, your compassion, the closer you will come to the goal of being a mystic. My poor husband, said Mrs. Ginsburg to her psychoanalyst, dragging her husband behind her, he is convinced he is a parking meter. <laughs> the analyst looked at the silent, morbid fellow and asked, Why does not he say something for himself? Can't he talk? How can he? said Mrs. Ginsburg, with all those coins in his mouth. <laughs> In my vision, 
a sannyasin is one who is making every effort to get rid of the insanity that he has been conditioned for. Sensitivity will help immensely to make you sane, sensible, and if you go on moving in the right direction, it will become your meditation and finally your mystic experience of enlightenment.